This is just going to be a very uh, quick video about something that happened to a, a female friend of uh, our family a couple of days ago. Um, she's a woman who's recently divorced, lives in a nice house, uh, and uh, she's an attorney. And um, she goes to work in the mid-morning, I would say, and the other day she left to go to work like she normally does. and. Uh, she was halfway into on, on the way to work and she realized she forgot something at home. And uh, she went back to her house and she went in the front door and it's kind of an open plan, the house. Uh, and as she was in the front door, she saw a guy in her rear part of the home and he saw her and luckily and thankfully, he just ran out of the house. He had a box of jewelry with him and he took that and it, some of the stuff was quite valuable monetarily but some of the other stuff was more valuable because of sentimental reasons she had stuff that belonged to her mother and her father who had passed away and it, it was worth you know it's priceless that kind of stuff so she called the police and um, they're doing an investigation and uh, and then she called my wife and myself and she was really freaked out and she asked if we could go over. Uh, long story short, I, I said to her, you know, how, you know, didn't the alarm go off? And um, the answer was no. And the reason is because she said she didn't set the alarm. And it, my brain almost exploded because I can't tell you how many people actually have alarm systems they pay twenty, thirty, forty dollars a month, and they don't actually set their alarm systems. To me, it's just the stupidest thing ever. If you're not home and you have an alarm, it's going to go off. A, that's going to scare the guy, and hopefully he'll just turn around and run away. If not, B, at least you know the cops will be there in somewhat a reasonable period of time. Uh, if you are home and the alarm goes off, well then it gives you a chance to get one of these out and, and deal with the problem if someone's in your house. And I'm not gonna go into you know the, the whole issue of uh, you know uh, castle doctrine and uh, all that stand your ground, all that stuff. Uh, let's just say if you're in my house and you're not invited, you have a very, very serious problem. Anyway, it, I, we were talking with this woman and I, I don't wanna make this long, but we were talking and, and, and a couple of things came to mind. One, and I'm not knocking people who have these little uh, tiny baby dogs, but she's got this little Pomeranian. And I said, why don't you get like a real dog? And again, I'm not knocking. If you have a cute little dog, that's great. But I said, why don't you get a real dog? Get a, get a Doberman, get a Rottweiler, get, get something. You're, you're living on your own. Get something big that would you know scare, scare someone if they came to your house. Your little Pomeranian is not gonna do anything. Secondly, uh, if you could afford it, and quite frankly, I think anyone could afford a, a camera system, but get a camera system. You know, you can go to Costco's and they're, they're probably like $1,000 or less and get a camera system and put signs outside your house. Besides having an alarm sign, put a, put a sign saying that you have a, a camera system. But, you know, set your, set your damn alarm. That just drove me nuts when that lady told me that. You know, I, I always talk to people, friends and this and that, and I give them advice and I, I'm not in law enforcement at all. Uh, but I, I've been around the block a, a few times in life and, uh, I, you know, I, I see people and, you know, I talked about, you know, a carjacking story and this and that. And, and, and I see people that, you know, they get in their cars and they just, you know, the first thing they do is, you know, fix their radio or, or their 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 phone or whatever you know the first thing you do when you get in your car is lock the door you know a lot of us have you know nice cars and they lock automatically after you take off and you drive 50 feet or so well guess what that's too late if someone's waiting for you they're just gonna grab your door open rip you out of the car and they're gonna take your your stuff or do whatever they want to do to you if you're if you're a woman so the first thing you do before you even push the button to start the car push the other button and lock your car door. Common sense stuff. But 
I guess what I think is common sense, and probably most of the people watching this video, we, we probably all think like this, what we think is common sense, other people don't. I mean, you know, stop walking around with headphones on. I, I see it in my area all the time where I live. You know, women and, and guys, you know, they got the headphones on and they think, oh, this is a good area, it's expensive, how's it expensive? Well, if I'm a criminal, this is where I'm coming to, to rob someone. And if I'm going to mug someone, I'm going to look for the person with the headphones on who's not paying attention. I'm going to grab their nice Gucci, Louis Vuitton, whatever pocketbook they have and run away with it. And you tell me one person that's going to be able to run after someone that's got a head start and, and they got their pocketbook in their hand, you know, because these criminals know what they're doing. But the most important thing that I would say to someone that's living alone or, or you know, besides having the alarm system and, and setting the alarm system is get a goddamn gun. I don't understand all these people because guess what? Now this woman wants a gun permit and I, I'm an instructor and I'm actually going to give her the permit. I do it totally free of charge. I don't, uh, I don't charge anyone for permits. I do it because... I believe in the old, you know, saying a uh, well-armed society is a polite society, something like that. But bottom line is, I want you guys to be armed. When I'm in a movie theater, I, I don't want to be the only one in there besides my wife uh, that has a gun. I, I want uh, a bunch of people in there that have a gun. So when a nutcase, you know, starts doing something, we can take care of the situation. So anyway, this is just a little bit of a rant, but... Um, it's always people wait until after something bad happens uh, to do something. So, you know, get the camera system. Yeah, it's a surveillance. It's, that's not going to stop anyone, except it is a deterrent, because if they see the signs outside, and if you looked at my house, you'll see 87 cameras all over the place, and you're going to know that every, every piece of grass has a, has a camera, uh, you know, focused on it. Get a dog. I got giant, big dogs and you know some people can't do that they live in apartments i got it but get something that at least is going to scare someone but lock your doors set your alarm system if you don't have an alarm system get one you know everyone spends the money the way they want to uh, you know you either smoke cigarettes or other stuff or this or that it's 30 bucks a month i think anybody could afford seven dollars a week uh, to, to pay for an alarm system so anyway, d don't wait till something happens. And, and if you're thinking about getting a gun, find a place, go, go get your, your, your permit, carry a gun, have one in your house or 130 of them in your house, whatever, whatever you want. Uh, but but ha have a gun because in, in the middle of the night when the alarm goes off and you grab your gun and you grab your nighttime magazine and, uh, you know, shit hits the fan, you're going to be glad you had this because... You know, I also have another friend, here, and he has a bat. And I always tell him, guess where that bat's going to end up? And I'm, I'm not going to say it on here, YouTube, but we all know. A bat's not going to do anything. If a guy's breaking into your house, normally it's two or three guys at a time, number one. And they know what they're doing. They, they kick in those doors. They're coming through with ferocity. And you have a bat, it's not going to do anything. And... Uh, that's it. Get a gun, get your permit, lock your doors, and that's it. Uh, I don't want to ramble, but this, this just happened recently, and, and it really just drives me nuts. So, all right, thanks very much, and uh, if you like the video, click like, and please subscribe. All right, take care.